I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Four of Swords. And it's paired with the Eight of Cups. Now the Four of Swords, as you can see in the picture, is the card above the word pass. It's showing that there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life, a person, or a situation. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal, it's not likely to be permanent. It's a sign to give people their space. You could be feeling like you need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself. Or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now, the Four of Swords is with the Eight of Cups, which often means that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, it could be a job, maybe a situation, or a neighborhood. Did I already say that? Relationship, job, neighborhood, or some type of situation. There could be some sadness involved. But the separation is actually in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times are lie ahead for you. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Also, instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, usually means that you are the one who will make this choice. Very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, Cancer, the recent past energy for you and your person, Four of Swords, clarified by this Eight of Cups. So, what I'm getting is that for some of you, you... You're dealing with someone or you were dealing with someone who really stressed you out. Yeah, it, this person made you feel like you just, you needed a break. You needed a vacation. You needed time away. And it looks like uh, you made a decision to walk away. Yeah, this person really, they might, they, this person, maybe they, did they drag you through the mud? They put you through the ringer. Because if you look at the Four of Swords, the card above the word pass, this man, he looks like he went to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs and four swords with him. You know, he took a candle. If anyone wants to come near him and disrupt his peace, his sleep, his withdrawal, this man would pull out those swords and use them. Yeah, he plans on being there overnight, maybe a couple of nights or or more, because he lit a candle and he put it in his shoe. So yeah, somebody, your person, they took you through something. Yeah, you just wanted to be alone. You wanted a break. You needed a vacation away from this person. And you realized the best thing to do was just to withdraw, to move on. It looks like you, a lot of you, you walked away from the connection. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the world card, and it's with the page of wands. Now, the world card is actually about closure, completion, 
You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn and toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. And now it's with the Page of Wands. Well, with this card, it can be about a person that's warm, ambitious. They could be a high achiever. If this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. It could indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition, start to come to life. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page actually brings a positive energy, but because of the easy distraction and having to try to stay focused, you're going to have to supply the follow through. So, Cancer, what's coming up? World card clarified by this page of wands for you and your person. Like I said, it looks like um, you, you've walked away. A lot of you, you've already walked away from this person who stressed you out a lot. And then coming up, it looks like you're going to um, seal the deal and you're just going to close out the chapter. You, you, or you could just be realizing that it's end of it's the end of this journey for you and this person. Because, like I said, the world card is about closure, completion, ending a chapter, completing a cycle, end of a journey. But they'll be reaching out to you. Because when the Page of Wands speaks of love, uh, speaks of um, relationships and love, it's indicating that there's a message coming. Could be messages of love and affection. Yeah, this person will be trying to talk to you, trying to reach out to you, probably trying to be with you. Because the Page of Wands can be also about a lot of passion. This person could have a lot of passion for you. They want to continue to explore you and the connection, but it looks like you are closing out this chapter. You realize it just needs to be over with. Yeah. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got this moon card, and it's Paired with the High Priestess. <coughs> now the Moon card, you could feel psychic, intuitive more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel that you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So you're going to have to try to stay patient. Now... This moon card is with the High Priestess, which can mean that you're going to be in a phase where you're much more physically attractive to others. The High Priestess is actually tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity and inspiration. So this would be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge. 
rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. So your challenge, Cancer, well, the moon card clarified by this high priestess. So yeah, like I said, your person, they'll be trying to holler at you. As a page of wands, they probably want to get next to you. A lot of passion is there. Yeah, so. You're trying to close out this chapter with the per with this person. But they got something to say. They want to talk. And much more. You, you're thinking, uh... You don't trust what they what they have to say. You could be starting to hold back. Um, you could feel like there's deception. You could feel like this person is wearing a mask. Or you might start to feel like they're not saying what they really feel. Yeah, you know, when they reach out, this things are probably this will probably be your thoughts. Or this is probably how you feel about the person already. Like there's deception and they, there's things that you don't know. Or they, you feel, you probably felt like they hold back. And you just don't trust them. With the moon card here, you think there's, they're deceptive. So, the high priestess, she, she can, um... Go silent on a person. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. The high priestess is about attraction. Being drawn to. This person is really drawn to you. They got passion for you. Um, it looks like, like I said, you're going to go silent on them. You've already walked away for a lot of you. And if you haven't walked away, but it's showing me that you have, you go, you'll probably choose to go silent on them. Like the high, the high priestess goes silent, and she sits really pretty. So let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups, and it's with Three of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups can be a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. And it can also point to disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So try to choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now it's with the Three of Cups, which is often considered to be a card of reunions, but... It can be romantic or some other kind of reunion. Maybe a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. So, it's actually considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration of your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. So cancer, the outcome, seven of cups. Clarified by three of cups. So, yeah, I don't know if you, if you're thinking about reaching out to someone that you have a lot of happy memories with. Yeah, maybe. Someone, your person, someone you know is reaching out to you that wants to come back. Yeah. Like I said, you've gone silent on this person. Um, most of you have already walked away from, not the person that's coming back, but from this person that stressed you out. The recent past energy person. So you, you realize that you got a lot going for yourself and that you really don't have to tolerate 
somebody dragging you through the mud like that. So for a lot of you, you realize that you have options. You got choices. Yeah, you don't have to stick with someone who's, like I said, stressing you out all the time. Yeah, a lot of you have made the decision to close out the chapter with that person. You feel like they they were deceptive anyway. And you realize that you got a lot going on for yourself. And you realize that you have options. And if you haven't realized it, you'll be realizing it soon. That's the outcome. Somebody could be reaching out to you that, that you used to be with. I want to say someone from the past, but I know you guys hate when I talk about the past like that. You don't want to hear about anybody from the past, but Three of Cups, somebody from the P-A-S-T, somebody that you used to know could have you on their mind. Yeah, so they'll be reaching out to you, or maybe it's you reaching out to somebody that you used to have a lot of happy memories with. You got options, Cancer. Yeah, you've closed out a chapter. Somebody who was draining you. So, the door is open now for you. So many choices. You can go with somebody that you used to know from the PAST. Or you can go with someone new. Or you could just stay single and just... Have a lot of great new beginnings. Yeah, but you got somebody. Somebody's thinking about you, Cancer. Somebody that you used to know. Yeah, they want to come back. Come back your way. Because they remember the happy memories that the two of you made. Yeah, with you, it felt like there was friendship. Maybe even a circle of support. And the two of you celebrated a lot. So don't be surprised, Cancer, if someone from your PAST comes knocking at your door or sending you a message. <laughs> so that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Oh, it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both felt about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next cancer reading which will be in about another four or five days just in case this does not resonate maybe the next reading will also keep in mind when you get my readings the roles can actually be reversed they can be switched you could be them or they could be you and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person in the reading could actually be a friend could be a family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. So, just take the, just take the readings for however you resonate, because these are general readings. Yes, general readings. They're not personal readings. So, okay, just just take the reading for however it resonates. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you. We'll come back, check out the next reading. I hope you have a great day, happy holidays, and take care.